put it out on Lake Mendota and we're gonna get streaming data from it every 10 minutes. And we get some dissolved oxygen and phytoplankton and water temperature at a bunch of different depths and then we can look at that data later and uh, analyze and hopefully find some interesting uh, ecological patterns in there. Uh, we have to hook up the moorings. Uh, so these are big heavy weights that uh, hold the buoy in place. And right now there's floats that are holding uh, three chains in place. And we'll grab those chains and then we'll connect them to the buoy so it will stay in place during the summer. So we're gonna head up over here to the, the boat ramp, boat launch, to pick up the buoy. And yeah, once we've picked up the buoy, we're gonna slowly tow it out to the center. Uh, I'd say it's 24 meters at the deepest point. maybe about a two full days now of work to get it to get it ready. Uh, sensor calibration, battery charging, checking over all the systems, checking that the radios are working. This fine, this hope this time should actually go smoothly. Hopefully. We have similar systems up north, they're just not anywhere as close to as uh, kind of geared for the rough environment of Mendota. So this one is, is pretty unique in that it's more or less like an oceanographic buoy instead of like a small lake buoy, which is what we have up north. The first time you get meter swells or meter waves out here, oh, it's not a good night. <laughs> Check the next morning, data's still there. So Mendota, I guess depending on who you talk to, Mendota is, is more or less considered the most studied lake in the world. I mean, it's mainly a product of having uh, UW-Madison with a really strong limnology program sitting right here, right next to the lake. Um, so adding an instrument and buoy to the lake is just kind of taking it one step further. The buoy, I think, represents a, a tie between all of us, between like the biology and the physics, so like everybody kind of uses that as a central piece that brings it all together, more or less. This buoy here is actually part of the Leon Global Lakes Ecological Observatory Network. We have some pretty cool sensors on there. We have, uh, uh, let's see here, we have two fluorometers, which allow us to measure um, uh, an index of how much chlorophyll is in the water and how much phycocyanin is in the water. Chlorophyll is in most algae, if not all algae, and phycocyanin is in blue-green algae. And then we have dissolved oxygen sensor, which can tell us how much, dissolve, how much oxygen is dissolved in the water at any one time. Uh, we have meteorological parameters like wind speed, wind direction, uh, we have a compass to see the orientation of the buoy, uh, air temp, relative humidity, and then we have a temperature profile string that goes all the way from the top to the bottom of the lake and measures temperature at about every meter. Well, welcome to the deep hole of Mendota, man. Okay. You don't mind if you have to swim 20 feet, do you? Air temperature and relative humidity sensor. An anemometer for wind speed, wind direction. Oh, you only got one. Oh. <laughs> the orange blue, you didn't get to the Um, dropping the uh, the thermistor line. This has all the temperature sensors on it. It's all about a meter apart, and uh, just dropping it to the bottom of the lake right now. Uh, we get the data back with a with a, a wireless radio. Um, there's only one type of wireless radio, but this is the antenna right here actually. And then on the center for limnology, we have an antenna on the roof that gets connected to our our, our network there, and we can remotely download everything then from there. Other than some issues with the shackle sizes, um, it, it went pretty well. Pretty well.